Good morning. What we're going to look at today is binary addition. Okay, so in the last section, we looked at binary conversion, obviously dealing with the binary and binary to denary. But today, we're looking at binary addition. Okay, so again, when you think about binary addition, all you've got to remember is the, the different codes that come with it. Okay, and again, when we think about this, it just makes your life so much easier when you're setting this up. So if you think about um, it this way, so zero plus zero equals zero. One plus zero equals one. Zero plus one equals one. One plus one equals zero, but carry the one, okay? And then one plus one plus one equals one, carry the one. You'll understand this a bit more when we come to the, the calculations, okay? So in binary addition, you'd get given the, the, the sum. Okay, you'd have zero, one, one, zero, one, one, zero. Again, it doesn't make any difference what number they come on. Again, and then one, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero. Okay, and you can see there is the calculation. Okay, so well, let's have a look at this one. So what you would do is just look through each one. Okay, so one plus zero is one. Zero plus one is one. One plus one, right? So the member there. There it is there. One plus one is zero. Carry the one. Okay. The next one, one plus one plus one. It's there, right? So remember, it's one. Carry the one. A lot of people get a little bit confused when they say, right, one plus one. Or they're like thinking, well, is that the one? And carry the one. Simply remember, if there's two ones there, right, it's zero. Carry the one. If there's three ones there, right, it's one. Carry the one. Okay. So this one here, zero plus zero plus zero plus one. Right. Again, you don't need to worry about these zeros. Just know there's a one there, right? So zero plus one is one. One plus zero is one. One plus one is zero. Carry the one. And then zero plus one plus one is zero. Carry the one, right? This is where, when you do it, you realize that this is an overflow, okay? Because there's too many bits, Okay, it becomes a nine bit number. If this was getting marked in an exam, you would have a mark for the workings out, a mark for the correct answer, and a mark for the overflow. Okay, again, just a quick extra one just down the bottom here. So, again, if I had uh, one, one, zero, zero, one, 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 one. Okay, so again, if you're having a look at this one here as well. So, again, you're just going through each different step, right? One plus one is zero, carry the one. One plus one plus one is three ones now, okay? So again, it's one, carry the one. One plus one plus one, three ones, one, carry the one. Two ones, okay? So it's zero, carry the one. Two ones again, zero, carry the one. Just the one one, zero plus, zero plus one is one, right? One plus one is zero, carry the one. And then one plus... Zero plus one is again is zero, carry the one. You can see again what happens is that there's an overflow. To be honest, when it comes to any exam question, it doesn't really come up that often in regards to overflows. They do put it in there the odd time just to make sure that you understand what is happening. Okay, so in an exam, if you are getting doing this, it would usually be out of three. You'd have your mark there, you'd have your mark there, and you'd have your mark for overflow. Okay, you've just got to remember the code okay you've got to remember this okay when you're going through the binary addition okay thank you